Hi. I'm sorry. I must have fallen asleep. I let myself in. I hope you don't mind. Why would I mind? What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess I wanted to talk. It's very late, and I am very tired, so if you don't mind... David, I'm not looking for an argument. Well, good, because I don't want to argue with you. All I want to do is get some sleep. Then I'll just say my piece. You try to listen, and then I'll go. That's all I ask. It's a democracy. Shoot. David, you and I have been a lot of things to each other. Partners, friends, lovers, enemies. Oh, I rehearsed this all in the car right now. It sounds so dumb. Let me get this straight. You're not sure why you're here, but you were rehearsing what you were not sure you were going to say once you got here. Is that it? Look, David, I'm worried about Annie. Good night. Thank you very much for coming by. It's been so wonderful David, to see you. You and I both know the game we're playing. And sooner or later, Annie's going to end up beaten and bruised and not know what hit her. And why? Because you want to get back at me for who knows what ho, reason. Ho, 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 I got a little news flash for you here. This is not about you, OK? This has absolutely nothing to do with you. And that is why you're here, in the middle of the night. Because that drives you nuts. I must be nuts for thinking that a crow magnet like you would listen to reason. Fine. Get out of my bed. I have no interest in being in your bed. I'm sorry you're so selfish. And I'm sorry you're so mad at me. I'm not mad at you. As a matter of fact, I'm not mad at anybody. As a matter of fact, fact, I'm very happy. I feel great. I'm sorry that makes you so upset. Now, if you don't mind, I would like you to leave. David. I'm sorry. Annie, wait a minute. Hey. 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 Oh. Want to do me a favor, put the lights out on your way out? No problem. <laughs> 